gonna show you uh, guys. I'm gonna show you guys like, where I find food. I'm not gonna edit this video or anything. It's just gonna be raw. You definitely want spawn in the city. Like if you spawn like in the woods or somewhere you don't see a lot of buildings, I would just kill myself and try to get spawn in the city. for warmth. Berezino is definitely one of the best cities. A lot of small apartment units where you can find food. There's a water pump like very close to the coast like right here. So when I spawn, usually I'll go to the to the first water pump, and uh, I'll try to get my stomach full just on water. It's gonna take a little while. Probably gonna be doing this for like two minutes. If you find a if you find a water bottle, if you find a plastic bottle, it's a lot faster. It's like ten times faster. You just fill it up. And drink from it, repeat it like twice, and that's it. And then after this, I'm gonna, I'm gonna check like the kiosks, this, th these kiosks right here, I'm gonna check the fruit trees around me, like these ones. And um, after that, I'm gonna check the stores and the small apartment units. And Depending on the server population, I think we can get enough food to make long trips within like 20 minutes. Alright. Already finding food. Look. Lunch meat. These kiosks are great. Fruit trees, plums, it's rotten. Let me get those new shoes. That's a shotgun. <laughs> I will take it. Oh, it's got rounds. Cool.
hat. <laughs> I'm gonna get a police officer uh, outfit. Here we go. Oh, a radio. Yo, we got two guns already. from it. What are you doing, Greg? Still raiding that base? Um, I put my own code on it. Nice. <coughs> and I'm headed back to Tolga. near the houses for for fruit look pear I keep checking the trees around here Ooh, car battery more pear I don't bother going inside the houses because uh, they do have a chance of spawning food, like canned food, but it's not very often. So, pre 1.15, I would eat until my calories are maxed out, but I don't think that's any longer the most efficient way, because now your calories burn slower when, you, when your apple is yellow, like your, the calories last longer when when the apple is yellow instead. But the thing about that is you're more prone to, you know, diseases and shit like that. So, I still try to keep it all white, but you can totally go someplace inland. Like you can go, to, you can go to the Northwest Air Airfield by like keeping it in yellow and you're only gonna need like, 
I would say like this is enough food. This is totally enough food to get to the northwest airfield. Especially if you're jogging, like if you're not running. But even if you're running, it it it, it seems like it's still enough, you know. I'm gonna try, <clears throat> might make a video of me just like running as soon as I- Are you I... talking to me? No, I'm talking to, to everyone. <laughs> Fucking zoned out. <laughs> to the random viewers. Um, yeah, I was thinking of making a video where I start running like as soon as I, I spawn to see how fast I will die from starvation. Like how how fast the calories burn, you know? Mm -hmm. Cause it seems like it's a lot slower now. So I might have to update my my guide. Because I'm basically on my guide I'm basically telling people to shove everything they see in their mouth. You know, like all the food they get, just fucking eat it all. Like, basically not to let any food sit in the inventory until you get maxed out. <laughs> so, when you find plastic bottles, you have a 50-50 chance of getting cholera from it if you drink from it. I wouldn't suggest doing that. I would suggest empty the, emptying them out first and then go into a water pump, filling them up with clean water. Unless you have chlorine tablets. But if you have good immune system, like the higher your stats are, like your, your hydration, your hunger, your, your blood and health, You'll have a better immune system. I'm just gonna drink from it right now, fuck it. <laughs> See, cause a lot of people get sick before they find food. And that's, that's really annoying. Because then, then getting rid rid of the sickness is like twice as hard. Did I leave the mag? What the fuck am I doing? Yeah, I did. Okay. fucking food everywhere like you just gotta know where to look these these are the best like these these yellow small apartment units that are one story they're the best like usually you'll find the food like either on the chair on the table or here in the corner in the floor or right here sometimes there's can tuna right here in the counters but these are by far the best places to find food check out the clinic real quick honestly I would say I'm ready like I, I have I have two guns three guns I have plenty of food already I've eaten plenty of food I'm pretty sure it's gonna go to white pretty soon full white and uh, when you go inland like you will find animals to hunt you know like you, you'll hear a bunch of animals and shit like right away so I would just conclude the video right here, but I'm gonna I'm gonna try to find a little bit more, a little bit more food. A 
but that should totally be enough food to get you started. You know, go find a cow, go find some deer, whatever. Get a bunch of food. I found a lot of food before I even found a fucking backpack, dude. I still don't have a backpack. Chlorine tablets. Those are good. These are the best pills. Those and multivitamins. It's been, I don't think it's been, let me see, it's been 16 minutes. I already got a revolver, I got an M Glock, I got a, I got a Glock, I got a shotgun, I got a scorpion. Definitely enough ammo to kill a player. If I need to. Like, I, I feel like the most common mistake is that at first, like, players will waste their time like they'll waste their time searching everything they see like you know especially as a new player you're trying to explore a lot you know you want to adventure and shit but like you know i guess it comes with experience but eventually you'll start to remember like which buildings are more likely to spawn food oh that zombie's got a backpack so i'm gonna try to punch him in the face so i don't ruin it there we go. Oh, he's got food too. It's probably the worst backpack because it's so fucking bright. It's a yellow, yellow dry sack. <coughs> Honestly, like you don't you don't have to spawn in Berezino either. Like uh, Svetlo is a good city, Electro is a good city, Cherno is a good city. I would say if you spawn in Solnichni, it's kind of a problem. Might not be enough. For, you. or sometimes you'll spawn like in between two major cities, like where there's only two houses, and that that's it. I would just kill myself and try to get a bit of spawn. But, um, I know that at first you're gonna be like, oh, how do I know, like, which city I'm in? It's like, you gotta use I Survive app. It's the only way. Just wherever you spawn, look more food. Wherever you spawn, just follow the road to the nearest sign, the, the nearest road sign you see. And then go back to the app and basically follow the coast until you see a name that matches the road sign. That'll give you an idea of where you're at. And everything is, is on the app. The water pumps, police stations, clinics, everything. Very useful. Look, 
food. Do you know what's the server pop on the server right now? Great. I do not. I think it might be medium. <clears throat> Definitely not a lot of players online right now, which is a pro. But still, you can totally do this in a high population server. <laughs> this is a visual like server. <laughs> I kind of want to see food is not a problem anymore. I can go wherever I got food. You see, that's it. 20, 20 minutes in or less. Like I was all, I was ready at like 15 minutes for a long trip. Oh, they changed the electrical repair kit. Yeah. <laughs> Looks a bit different. I don't know. I would, I would kill myself to get a spawn, to get a different spawn and show you that you can totally do it in a different city. Um, but I don't know if it's gonna if it's gonna make for a 40 minute video then I don't know who the fuck's gonna watch that what do you think Greg? should I just <coughs> kill myself or end the video here? I think that was enough yeah I think people got it yeah that's a lot of food yep so that's pretty much it remember so water is very important so just Hit up a water pump like as fast as you can. Okay, you spawn in. Try to locate yourself with the app. Figure out where the nearest water pump is. Get full on water. And then start searching the trees. Start searching the fruit trees around the houses. If there's nothing in there, search these stores. Like these stores are really good. Search the small apartment units, the yellow ones. Like the small kiosks, the food stands. <laughs> and don't waste your time ser searching like all the fucking buildings like these industrial buildings and houses like you know it's it's a gamble it's a gamble you you could still find good stuff oh dude there's a base right here hmm. uh, the one of the apartment buildings with the three-story apartment buildings with the blue door in Berezino. Mads was saying that he kept getting harassed in Berezino by somebody while he was trying to rebuild the oh, yeah. second story. And he said that there's definitely a base somewhere in Berezino, but he couldn't find it. Oh, they've gotten through it's open from the back. I would say a good practice is to like honestly it's all personal preference but it seems like the most efficient way now is to wait until your your food goes yellow like I would keep it right there and then start eating as soon as it goes yellow to make it last longer you know make the food last longer I think that's gonna be the most efficient way now but before what I used to do is just keep eating keep eating keep eating until it's completely maxed out like completely white everything's white and, and the calories are maxed out <laughs> and then I would I would just basically store like a section of my backpack I'll just store a bunch of food just in case but you but you know you know you don't have to do too much because you can always honestly I don't know I have no problem finding food like but yeah anyway uh, I'm gonna end the video here thanks for watching I hope this helps. I'll see you next time.